the Mariners tonight. Two-run homer for Nelson Cruz in the first, for Robinson Cano in the second, for Deho Lee in the third. Six-nothing Seattle early. Cubs got two in the fifth, one in the seventh. Let's go to the ninth. Madison Russell drives in a run with the base hit to make it six to four. Wilson Contreras barely beats one out, avoiding what would have been a game-ending double play. Fielder's choice RBI, 6-5. Wild pitch by Steve Ciszek, ties it at six. Extra baseball tonight in Chicago, and a lot of it. Bottom 12, tied at six. Jason Hayward facing Cody Martin, who's in his third inning of relief. Crazy night. Oh and two. Hayward, Contreras, and then Rondon scheduled, but you got to believe it's going to be Arietta. Hayward rips one. Deep right center off the wall. And into second base with a leadoff double, just a couple of feet away from ending it. good does this feel for Jason Hayward who's shown his frustration tonight he gets a fastball up in the zone just meets it with his barrel we're talking three four feet from ending this game with a home run but look at the swing it's a ball it's up at his chest look how close this is well, we talked about how much trouble he's had getting on time with the fastball. And after a couple of pitches that looked like maybe they were down and out of the zone, he's on time for that fastball, a huge leadoff double. All right, guys, so Wilson Contreras is coming up. John Lester is in the on-deck circle, not Jake Arrieta. What's going on? Well, if I'm Seattle here, I'm walking Contreras. Yes. Because you know you got a bunt situation next, and you're setting up a force situation if you walk Contreras, whose run obviously means nothing. Fly ball, right center, pretty deep. Hayward getting ready to tag. Catch made by Martin. Hayward on his way to third, and in there despite a very strong throw. And the winning run is at third with one out. And it's going to be Lester. Arietta's a better hitter. Lester's got six sacrifices. Arietta won. Is this all about the bunt? Well, it's certainly the option of the bunt, but you know that Scott Service is going out to the mound now to discuss things, and Seattle's certainly aware that. Certainly from a number standpoint, Lester, not the best option they have as a hitter right now. I think John Lester came to the ballpark today saying, <laughs> I wonder if I'll be called upon as a pinch hitter tonight. <laughs> so Lackey's down there getting ready to pitch, which leaves Hendricks, Lester, and Arietta. Arietta's a great hitter for a pitcher. He's a great hitter. And even just enough to get it to the outfield. I mean, you think about it, it's less than two outs. So you're not looking for the home run. You're not even looking for the base hit. You're just looking for something to get that run 90 feet. Lester's three for 40 this year. His career batting average, as you can see, 051. He does have six sacrifices. Will they be thinking squeeze? Didn't show as he takes down and in. You wonder if something is preventing Jake Arietta from swinging it back? I'm going to throw this in there, too, guys. Looking at the numbers, Arietta strikes out a whole lot more than John Lester. His 14 strikeouts and 50 plate appearances this year. So maybe it's just a question. He wants the ball put in play. Shows button. He takes a strike.
Now, you, it, it's hard, you'd be hard-pressed to go straight suicide squeeze because you don't want to give up your runner in scoring position, and you know Seattle is playing against that. You've got Seager holding Hayward on close at third base, Lee creeping in hard at first. Pitch out. Uh-huh. I mean, the squeeze in this situation is not going to catch anyone on, by surprise. That's what, why you've got Lee way in at first base and Seeger holding Hayward on so he can't get a big lead. Winning run 90 feet away. Foul to back, two and two. And I don't think it's a situation where you'd have the contact playoff. Because if he hits a ground ball to right to one of the infielders, you have an out at the plate, and Lester's unlikely to be able to get into scoring position. So worst case, you want that runner still in scoring position, albeit with two outs, and Baez still at the plate. Or Baez with an opportunity at the plate. 2-2. Two -two. He gets the bunt down. Runner coming home. Cubs win. With two strikes on him, Lester gets a bunt down to score the winning run here in the 12th. Well, a game like this deserved a crazy ending. Well, and it ended with a pitcher <laughs> for the Cubs at the plate. Two and Joe Madden, he, he needs a different hat, like a, a wizard hat. A sorcerer's hat, It's yeah. going all the way. I mean, that's... <laughs> of wow. course you'd pinch wow. hit John Lester in that spot. And he dragged, but I mean, he wasn't even, I mean, he's... <laughs> late show, brings it with him, like he does it every day. Watch the jump that Hayward gets off the third, but the bunt that Lester gets down, the perfect location, and Hayward. Watch the base running by Hayward. He's not completely selling out. He reads this perfectly, gets a great secondary lead. And I know it's been a tough year for Jason Hayward at the plate, but there's so many things he does well, obviously defensively, and you cannot execute any better than Jason Hayward did there as a base runner because if that doesn't get down he's in a position to remain at third base with a hitter coming to the plate still perfect execution by Lester and Hayward down at third and somehow the Cubs come back from an early six to nothing deficit and win what undoubtedly is one of the craziest games that's been played in the majors this year Cubs win 7-6 in 12 innings over the Mariners. For Aaron, Jess, and Buster, I'm Dan Schulman. Thanks for watching. Sports Center coming up now.